All right, if you didn't do so well with our taking your shoe and sock on and off uh, balance test, I'm going to give you a couple exercises you can do to improve your score there. So, uh, one way to improve the score is just to keep working on that activity. So, this isn't rocket science. If you just kind of work on getting that shoe on and off, sock on and off, do it somewhere where you might have a chair behind you so if you fall or something kind of in either side of you so that if you're losing your balance, you can quick kind of put your foot and your hand down in a safe environment. That's one way to work on that. Another way to specifically work on that kind of activity and balance is what we call in our offices star taps. So from here, what you're going to do is stand on one foot, balance here, make sure you're stable here, and then just kind of reaching out as far as you can go. So if I'm standing on my right leg, my left heel is kind of kind of go out as far as I can go to control that motion. So if I'm falling forward, that's a little bit too far, but you want to try to get out to a spot where it's challenging, where you're maintaining your pelvic alignment, knees over the outside of the foot, foot is staying stable, and your hips are staying level, and going out as far as you can go without pain in the knee, the hip, the back, or the ankle. So just kind of reaching out to the front, reaching out to the side as far as you can go. Again, maintaining that good alignment here and then reaching behind you as far as you can go and doing that over and over again will help improve that single imbalance while moving your upper extremity. Um, that, those are the two things that I would give you to do. I would keep working on that balance and kind of getting that shoe and sock on and off and then I would add this into that. If you did that in the morning, just like brushing your teeth, brush your teeth in the morning, work on a couple of those, do it on both sides, of course, and then at night, brushing your teeth, same thing, going that. In a couple weeks, you're gonna see a significant improvement in your ability to do that test, and you just go back every once in a while and test that out. I mean, every morning, like I said, I do that just to make sure I'm kind of maintaining my balance and make sure the, the muscles and the nerves that innervate all the muscles that allow me to stay upright and, and do that activity are working as well as they should. You can do the same thing.